Why you always got a new nickname for me? Because the level of stupidity that I put up with earns a new nickname every day. <laughs> he got baptized by a <laughs> street car. <laughs> See if he's doing any work. Why are you sitting in the dark? Oh, this is so cool! The new light switch. You couldn't find the new light switch? Oh my god. Look what I gotta do for you. Okay, but come on. Look at that Dude. antique light switch. It's right From there. 1924. That is really neat. That'll it's coming like, along. That's a really good backdrop for like a podcast. Yeah, well, oh, that's, is that, that had to take out your purple bulb that you put in there. No, that's a different one. <laughs> There's the original cute. steering wheel out of 55. People are love this. Oh my gosh. I know, people are going to love to come here and buy like stuff. South Side Mount Vernon. Only yeah. all the stuff you're putting up is like relatable to you guys' channel. It's legit. Yeah. Oh gosh. Weasel pig. Weasel pig. What are you guys doing today? About to go fill some CO2 bottles. What are you doing? Do you have any shipping to do? I can make this Facebook post, but I don't know if it's cringy or not. So it looks like you've got some shipping done. Oh, this is done. the first order the out first of the shop. Benjamin Carlson. Oh, yeah. But it's a lot faster now that everything's working. How's Epson doing? It somehow is doing good. It's living. Yeah. It's, it's living its, its best life. But knock on wood. What are you you tuckered out yet? I just grabbed her up because she's being ornery. And now it's empty. Your dog didn't even flinch. No, she she's like, do. I ain't scared of shit. A little update on the Nova. I got a text just, I think a couple days ago and the engine and stuff for the Nova should be done in a couple weeks. So I should be able to drop the complete engine from, from intake to pan in this car and at least get an idea of, you know, mocking up the turbo kit and stuff like that. Start getting it wired and getting a fuel system together for it. I hope to have it running at some point this year. See, we got the fresh Mickey's on it. We're headed down to Wilkesboro this weekend, so we wanted to put Mickey's on it because we know those tires work really good for the smooth side of the track from the tree. Got the oil changed yesterday, thanks to the old man. Your truck should be done soon. AJ has promised me the end of March. So it won't make Digger die. Digger dies like next weekend, right. so yeah, so, it's probably yeah, not gonna happen. gonna happen. But he did say it'll be done by the end of March. And I talked to Dion yesterday with the transmission, and he said the transmission should be done 
here soon too. So once we get the engine assembled and we get the truck back from AJ, should be good to go. I think he said he had the motor plate in it and he got the new core support in it and he's working on the cage now. And he said he has everything to do the turbo kit. So. Sick. Have you showed the turbos on your channel? I don't think so. No. No. These are from Force Inductions and they are the only ones that I know of that are engraved with the Forks Inductions logo. They are billet wheel 7683s. Should I change my name of Tommy to Whistles? I don't know, we'll let people vote in the comments, I guess. <laughs> I got this Haltech system off a local guy that was taking it off his car. So we're gonna have some, some updates coming soon for the old truck. But you said you don't need traction control. I don't, but it's nice to have. <laughs> I remember you saying that. I don't need it, but it's nice to have. But it helps. Yeah. <laughs> this one's still full. Crack that open and see if it's still full. Just a little. All right, it's full. He's asleep still? I checked like a half hour ago he was. And literally every day, if he catches you in bed after 9.30, you're oh, yeah. getting raged at. Oh, yeah. oh, we got a delivery from Hot Shot Secret. Got some oil. It's actually been in here for about a month, but we're gonna update everybody. Oh, vivid on the floor. That's not a good sign. Are you pooping in there? Oh God! <laughs> that was very disturbing. <laughs> Let's go. Scrappy! You wanna play? Ready? Stay. Let Scrappy get one, okay? What kind of throw is that? Well, you're not a frisbee thrower. This is weird for me. I've literally never seen you one time play frisbee golf in the four years we've been together. Everything's a competition. <laughs> we'll try again later, scrap. Get you some more practice. So this is my truck. My daily beater for the heater. Picked it up for 600 bucks. Had a blown up motor. Put a 5.3 in it and it's been good ever since. Traded a set of tires and a hundred bucks for the motor I put in this. Remember that? Sorry. And ever since I shut the hood on it when I swapped it, I haven't had to touch it. So it's been a good truck. I'm a, a machinist is messaging me. What's the update? Um, tomorrow, I guess he said any time, but then he said he should know about 2.30. The dyno is, if the dyno is all straight, so hang loose, I'll update. So maybe tomorrow? Maybe, hopefully. hopefully. Oh, fuck with this again? You trying to die? 
What? You, what? you video me? Why can't I video you? I was in the bathroom. Oh, so that's off limits? Well, I would say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on today? We're vlogging. Hey, did you order hats? I'll order them today. That's the usual answer I get. What's up, Weasel Pig? Weasel Pig. Just happy to see you. Pig. We've got some good content so far. <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> So we are stopping at Contender Performance to get our CO2 bottles filled and also to get an air shifter solenoid and brackets for my pro stick shifter. How oh. old? What is about like? Gosh, she's gotta be eight months eight now. Months? September 13th was when she was born. She's a wiener. You're a cutie. <laughs> she's a wiener dog, but I've never seen one that's her colors though. They're usually yeah, just all brown. Almost German short hair color. Yeah. yeah, that's part of why I got her. <laughs> She's interesting. She looks like a bird dog. She does. She looks exactly Especially like Especially around her short paws. Short hair color, you know? So Bob at Contender Performance has been filling my dad's CO2 bottles since like 1970. And he owns Contender Performance here in Heath. And they have a lot of cool stuff. I wish I could go in and show you, but because of the coronavirus, we're not, we're not allowed to go in there. Um, so, I will put a link in the description of this video for Contender Performance though, so you guys can check out some of the products he has. Except your CO2 bottle and regulator. Cool. Got a good laser cut bracket in it, stainless steel. It's got the good cylinder, not the Bimba stuff. It's got a real good high grade cylinder. Let me get your receipt. Alright. So for those of you that don't know, uh, we use these CO2 bottles to control our boost. Um, you add CO2 pressure to the top of the wastegate to hold it closed um, and that that regulates boost so I know a lot of a lot of my viewers they're not 100% uh, into this stuff you know they're just trying to learn or they're just starting out so that's what this stuff is for also you can use it for your shift solenoids a lot of people run uh, electric trans brakes but you can use uh, air trans brake solenoids as well and they're a little bit faster this would be a lot more consistent than me shifting it myself because sometimes you know depending on where I'm at on the track or if somebody's in front of me I'll short shift or I'll shift a little late but with this I can program my boost curve to line up with where the trucks gonna shift so if I know the truck is gonna shift at 2.5 seconds that means I can throw at 2.6 seconds I can throw a ton of boost at it and it's going to be a lot more precise whereas I'm shifting it maybe 2.4 one time 2.8 the next time and it's just less consistent and this way everything is going to be a lot better so <laughs> so a lot of people have been asking where's your car where's it at you know how's the motor coming give everybody an update on what's going on so we've been waiting um, to get it dynoed and they've been having issues with the dyno. Um, it was supposed to get dynoed last week, but once we get it dynoed, we can get it in the car and make content. Um, my cousin's got a Mustang he's working on. I got a few different friends like locally that have Mustangs. Zach and Tanner's Mustangs will be going this spring. So we'll have a whole Mustang gang. <laughs> Um, but hopefully, yeah, we can get my The main thing is just to get you in there and get you some seat time. Yeah, I did fine driving it. I just need to, well, not the truck. I did fine driving it once we were trying to get it to the gas station, but I didn't really get to drive it at all after that. So. Yeah, so this next time around, we're not so rushed to make a deadline. We just mm -hmm. want to be able to drive it. Cruise it. And then once I get familiar with it, I get comfortable. We'll start strapping GoPros to it and... Making content. Mm hmm I gotta show everybody my, my second love. 
down south it's warmer down there and the truck didn't even have a fan on the radiator that's another story because last <laughs> the last time you switched out the radiator it broke like the third or fourth radiator in a row because it wasn't mounted right we broke another radiator and you swapped the radiator out and you never put the fan back on you're like ah, it's cold it won't need a fan but now it needs a fan so i put a fan on it Started up to pull outside and wash it, and it won't start. The batteries did. And I noticed the last weekend, every time you went to start it up, the alternator belt squealed like a bitch because it's just charging like crazy. The battery's no good. <laughs> so we're gonna put this battery in, Junior. Yeah. Which battery cable do you think I should remove first? Um. I'm gonna go. The positive with... one is the most dangerous. The negative one is the least dangerous. Which one do you think I should take off first? I would probably remove the positive one first. I knew that you would, and that's absolutely the wrong answer. See that? Remember in the truck when I was telling you when I bought that? What year did you graduate? 15. <laughs> What's it say? 515. Okay, so maybe it did serve its good purpose for six years. Oh. Man, you know, we really ought to clean this up. Why? Look at the bed. Look at the entire bed. That's because you never clean anything. All right, Junior. Try it out.
simple green. This thing is terrible. Terrible. I don't know how you stand it. Well, it's just something that you don't we have a different opinion on. We have a difference of opinion on. Uh, what's the difference? In, what is your opinion that differs from mine? My opinion is if it doesn't make it faster, I really don't give a shit. To get any water in my distributor. You better tell me to be careful not to get any water in that damn camera. If you wasn't holding it right now. It. If you wasn't holding it right now, you'd be getting water in your ears. Damn door. Why you always got a new nickname for me? Because the level of stupidity that I put up with earns a new nickname every day. <laughs>